Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Disco Elysium. My name is Chris, I'm here with my co-host Tyler. Say hi, Tyler. Hi, I'm here. I'm taking a break from doing my covers of the George Burns classics. That's good, that's enjoy, good. If you enjoy old kerners, uh, do not look me up. This is entirely private. Correct, so yeah. I'm like this. <clears throat> Alright, and last time we had infiltrated Kuno's shack and found amphetamines, so that's exciting. Yeah. Uh, for the record, uh, last time I mentioned I was on uh, amphetamines and I said the medication was by Fenton. Uh, I was I, I misremembered. I was actually on uh, Vivance. Thank you for doing that. Uh, trans to... Transparency is important. Uh, yeah, that's why it's... I'm also going to disclose my blood type, which is A positive. Uh, yeah, I'm also A positive. We could trade blood. We could be blood brothers. We are, in fact, blood brothers. If I am in a terrible accident, I will uh, demand your blood. Yeah, and if I want to, if you have to sign a pact, uh, we can sign with our own blood and won't we'll make us sick. Exactly. However, I suggest we cut our butts, not our hands, so like no one will see the scar and know that we signed the pact. So we're like butt blood brothers. Hmm. Um. Um. um <laughs> I feel like that's like I feel like that's like a, a one way ticket to hepatitis. But uh, you know what? We'll we'll move on. Uh, and <laughs> last time we had pretty much fully explored this room. Uh, but there is a ladder which we did not explore. So yeah. uh, unless there's something else pressing that you wanted to do, I think we should keep it going. Uh, at this time, I'm enamored by the I, what I'm assuming is a paper mache pig head in the corner. But I am down to ladder it up. I mean, I, I I would like to think that it's paper mache, but I am almost certain that it is a real rotting pig's head. That just I, seems like like more likely to me. <laughs> yeah, that's a symbol of poverty. Is a severed pig's head in the garage. All right, let's get out of here. Here we are on the roof. There's... Oh, the sun shines on my old grandma shawl. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. These Someone's... barrels are half full of rainwater. Someone's being environmentally friendly. Uh, this is one way to wash your jacket, I guess. Like, if you just coat it in, like, the tide marker. Oh, okay. I thought we could, like, look at it from down here, but apparently we have to go the long way. So instead I got of... Really slowly sauntering just hanging out on the roof yeah i mean you can run places in this game and one of the funny things is if you do gar or kim is eventually like why do you run so much yeah why are <laughs> so every you ever since he did that my first playthrough i got really self-conscious about running everywhere so <laughs> and, and kim has endeared himself to you that you you are oh, considerate wait. of an npc of a, of a person that is not real i mean that's the thing hold on uh i Postcard. A buck twenty. Nice. Grand Kurum. Grand Kurum. And then we got Grand some. Oh yeah, this is like a romance language town. Mm hmm. I don't want to say French because I feel like a lot of them just uh, you know, intermix a little bit depending on how many O's you like at the end of your words. I think you are correct. That is a little bit of a mix. Yeah, like I feel like Colosseum in Italian and French are very. Ah, no, it's bad. That's good. Ooh. We could use some. Ah, Kim is Gritson. Yeah, uh, I was getting like uh, Final Fantasy VII flashbacks from that uh, room that we were just in, the garage. Oh, yeah. And it kind of reminds me of like when you go back to Barrett's and you pull up the reactor. I mean, hey, man. You're looking at a guy who has mostly never played Final Fantasy, but knows a little bit about Final Fantasy VII just because it's that famous. Yeah, you are living a good life, man. I feel cursed with a lot of this knowledge I have about Final Fantasy, especially 13. Looks like someone left his tarpaulin cloak hanging on the railing here. Who could that be? What? Who could have? Hmm. When the wind ruffles the cloak, you can most definitely see a white rectangle on its back. It's a, it's a cop's cloak, Kim. Do you see it? Do yes, you see it? It's probably yours. It bears the RCM insignia. And you have a habit of being careless with your equipment. You could probably make the jump. You look like you've done some track and field in your day. Hmm. That seems I'm... remarkably optimistic, given what I know about our stat spread, but uh, we'll see. That is true. Also, Kim, why don't you suggest we just scale the very short wall right there? Look, this is, again, one of these ludonarrative dissonance things. Let's let's check the challenge. 17%. Is... Yeah, that's what I figured. And no. uh, our health is still okay. We don't have a. Yeah, I found some Nozafed and healed us up, so we got that. Oh, okay, that makes sense. 
Yeah. I forgot. We, we I didn't ask for your consent to heal, but I figured that's not going to be necessary. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I trust you. You are you are the body, and I am the mind. The body knows what's good for it. Yeah, exactly. Everyone that's knows. why I eat Doritos all the time. Mm-hmm. The body knows what it needs. Yeah. Anyway, what do you think? Uh, let's you know. Let's do it. Or wait, gonna... no, before we do. Okay. Uh, let's look around first and see if there's anything else we see. Good RPG instincts. Yeah. Loot the room before you uh, make any skill checks. I agree. Yeah. Do it in a grid if you can. The wind is aggressive up here. The lieutenant looks at the enormous crane towering in the distance over the container yard. That machine is a Cavalsund 1020 HK. <laughs> Hey, hey, uh, hey, do you want to jump? Hold on a second. Look, it's a Kvalsum 1020HK. Hey, look, man, I know that, like, <laughs> like train people, like, foamers are a thing, and you gotta imagine, like, boat people. I used to live very close to a major canal, and so, like, people would just come and look at the ships going through the locks. So, believe me, I'm sure that there are crane people. Like, it just oh. has to be the case. Oh, I'm not, uh, you know, if that's his, uh, that's his thing, that's his thing. I just meant more, like, have a conversation where he goes from, do you want to jump? No, hold on, look at this very specific crane. I mean, yeah. Look, your I coat's mean, over there. You might die, so you want to, you know, enjoy the machinery while you still can. That's true. And I, I went on a few dates with somebody who was obsessed with shipyards, because oh. they worked in a shipyard as a director. Yes. Uh, yeah. There you go. If you want to know where raw meat comes from sometimes, that's where. Mm. It's on the boat. Yeah, from the sea, of course. Yeah, the sea meat. Uh, let's, go, let's go with the first one, because I feel like uh, that's, as somebody with this much uh, intellect, that's how he would say it. All right. Is it? Kualsun makes a lot of heavy equipment, but this is phenomenal, even for them. But I digress. We were focusing on your cloak here. Oh, no, Kim. Let's we can nerd out about machines together. That's fine. Yeah, can we get, stop and smell the daisy wheels sometimes? That joke was for exactly three people. Well, I hope that they're listening, because <laughs> I'm not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> let's go for the club. Jump the ledge. Yeah. All right. Let's go yeah. for it. I'm. I feel brave. Oh fuck. Oh no. It's gonna be painful. Nope, no, that's still too high. What were you thinking? You're not a gymnast, you're a boxer, and you've climbed way too high up here. Well, that's not what this said, uh, so interesting, but that's yeah. okay. That's same... more fair as the overriding with reality. Yeah, same, same uh, general idea, though. You could have died yeah. there. Shit, 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 shit. I'm failing you. This wasn't part of our deal. Oh, I'm sorry, Volition. That's really cool. I like that. I like that our instincts overrid our impulse. Like we, we are the we have an ego, a super ego, and an id. We are the id. This is hey, incredible. Hey, I like this. What happened? Uh oh, it's okay, Kim. I just can't do it right now. I understand. We can always come back when you are feeling better. It's just a cloak, after all. Yeah. There's also like a door right there. It seems like you could probably get it from the door. You know? Yeah. And again, you mentioned it earlier, Ludo narrative dissonance. You can scale the wall. Well, you know, I, I mean, it's it seems like it's like you know six to eight feet. You probably don't have to jump, but it is like a, a you know a bit of a ways down. Oh, for sure. But like you can just like just go like. You know what? No, I know you're right. I'm just looking at the door height, and I'm like, that's mm. oh well. Anyway, uh, let's yeah, let's not go for it right now. Okay. All right. So we, uh, uh, what did we get? Did we get something? I don't know why this was up. All right. So it seems like we, uh, oh, can I get these bottles? Yeah, hell yeah, yes! Dan. It, it didn't oh, light up. Right over there, too. Yeah, they didn't light up. This is. Are they supposed to light up? They should when I hit the interactables, but maybe bottles are like an exception. Yeah, because right. it, it feels like a very side quest thing. I guess they really want you to work for it if you want to get that, uh, if there's any bonus you get from it. Alright, well, it looks like we have to go back down. We can't jump down. for are chicken. Yeah. Well, I'm not a chicken, but my body says so otherwise. 
Or our body. I'm sorry. We're, we're operating this man together. We're operating this man together. That's true. And uh, what was on the other side of that door? Did we go through there already? Sorry? Like the on the south door. Like, did we go through that already? Or did this I just... one? Uh, yeah, that one. That's the way into the shack that we went in originally. Oh, okay. The perspective is uh, messed me up a little bit. I thought that was like a door we can go through. But we're on the roof. Yeah. All right, so we passed back through Kuno's shack. I have hopefully remembered to edit that out uh, yeah, because Kuno. nothing's going on in there. Yes, uh, you ha we haven't met Kuno yet, actually, uh, because we can't get our shit together. Um, this is him. <laughs> Wait, uh, the guy but... from the stones or him up there? This is this is Kuno. I, I'll spoil a little bit for you. Okay, but, uh, yeah, what do you want to do next? We tried to look at the body last time, but we couldn't. We need to get some ammonia to try yeah. to... to We'll keep our shit together, but did, uh, we, did you talk to the guy on the left? Like, uh, which this? Uh, the guy at the fence and the kid in front of us. I don't know if we talked to them yet or not. No, we haven't talked to them yet. We can I feel like, like, yeah. Uh, on, what's the just... yellow stuff on the floor? That's uh, something we can investigate as well. Ooh. Uh, okay. Sorry, I keep saying like, what is that over there? But uh, we're we're investigating together. If uh, I should really declare, like, we should go do that. Yeah, it's okay. It's time to gather information first. Like I said, time will never pass unless you're in a conversation. So there's lots of time to like look at the environment and decide what you want to do before you do uh, it. So uh, actually, I'll investigate this uh, dumpster as well, which I know what it is. It's a dumpster. Sounds good. Oh, the letter R wears a crown. A light above descending on the ribbon. Ooh. The logo of the municipality of Rebishaw. So there you go. That's like a, like a royal crown corporation. Exactly. All right, what, what, uh, what catches your eye? I, I feel like we should look at the yellow thing first uh, on the ground. Otherwise, uh, if there's nothing there, we should talk to the kid throwing stones at the body. There are several footprints in the mud left by work boots. Anywhere from six to 12 pairs have walked here. So we got a 58 on our visual yeah. calculus. Do some visual calculus. Okay. Maybe more than 12. No. Eight pairs of boots have shuffled back and forth in the mud. Eight pairs. Good counting. There's, there's 16, 16 unique footprints. I guess so, yeah. Sorry, I'm doing math in my head. Uh, let's go over them. One. Standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 46. Two. Standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 44. Three. Hobnailed work boot, steel reinforced toes, number 43. Four, standard work boot, number 45 or 46. Wait, which is it? You don't know. It's a miracle you can tell the prints apart as it is. The cold must have preserved them. Five, another standard work boot, steel reinforced toes, number 44. Six, an aberration. Light as air, even pace, same make of boot, but number 41. Male or female? Impossible to tell. Could also have been an adolescent. The gate is undeveloped. What does that mean, the gate is undeveloped? I don't 100% know. I guess they're just kind of saying that, like, maybe, like, they're, like, walking, like, a young person would instead of like an adult. I don't know. But yeah, I can look this up I'm... later and see if there's any uh, anything to it. But yeah, I just know that uh, when I see somebody walking, I like saying "nice gait, asshole." <laughs> I'm pretty good at this, ain't I? You are pretty good at this, in my opinion. You're not oh, bad. Thank you. It's as if the whole world darkens. Everything else has a thin film of unimportance on it, and the tracks burn in the middle of it. In a strange, beautiful way. Okay. Seven. Yeah, the glowing going. outline of a standard work boot. Number 46. But the imprints are twice as deep as the others. The weight exceeds 200 kilograms. Eight. And yet another standard work boot. Number 44. There's an aberration in the pattern of the sole, however. The right sole is smoother. More worn. How many? I'd say eight. I feel like 400 million is too fun. <laughs> Fair enough. We are trying to do business here. I was and pretty we are, 
I can't hit 20. And so far we've not been the most competent uh, police officer. <laughs> yeah, it's good. it feels good to be good at something, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, the same guys are going back and forth. Makes sense. I never got the hang of it. Hyperopia. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? Anything you want to point out to Kim? Oh, these are all these are all correct though, so it's like I don't know which one to start with. Yeah, whatever you uh, think is, you know. Uh, let's go with you know. Let's do this uh, sequentially. Let's go with number one. Okay. A woman or a kid? I don't, I don't. I don't think there's any way to be sure. Yeah, I think that's what our visual calculus kind of figured out as well. Understood. Yeah. Anything else? A heavy one. Two hundred kilogram imprint. Two hundred? Could it be the combined weight of two people, one carrying the other who's tied up? Let's say a heavily built worker carrying a similarly built, soon to be dead man. He might be right. Two hundred kilograms of living weight is unlikely. Mm, makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, fun. Kim's pretty good at this too. <laughs> and he's yeah, he should give himself some more credit. He's like he pointed those glasses because of the hyperopia, but uh, <laughs> deduction man. Fun fact, my driver's license for about two years said that my weight was 230 kilograms because uh, I put in my weight wrong. <laughs> and every time I showed it to somebody, they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> you, you lost an entire man's worth of weight. <laughs> Good job, yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah, I was like, great, if I have to evade the police, like, uh, they'll never ID me, I guess. <laughs> They'll be like, wow, good for you. They'll be so <laughs> they'll be so impressed, they'll let you go. They'll be like, oh, that's good. You made a healthy you made some healthy choices in your life, you know? That's to be commended. Congratulations. <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh one of them was carrying the other. Yeah, it makes sense. It could have been an extremely obese person, but I think it, that I think that this is more likely. I agree. Yeah. Possibly. Yes. But why? Why did they? Why did they have to carry him? Mm -hmm. Good question, right? If you're, we, hey, if this guy is was hung, presumably he was still alive, right? Otherwise, you know what's going on. Now, why would you hang a dead body? Exactly. Well, logic is chiming in for that very reason. Yes, yes. they could have used the makeshift stretcher or just march him up to the gallows. Maybe the victim wasn't conscious. Even easier to carry on a stretcher or between two men. Anyway, it's for future consideration. What else can you see? Good point. If the guy's unconscious, why not split up the weight? You know. That's true. I also imagine if the this heavy, if it's a combined like over two hundred kilograms, I imagine if he's like the same weight as me and that's muscle, like he's probably just carrying him on his back. So there's no issue. Especially yeah. if you're a dog worker, I imagine that's easier. Especially if you're with like seven other people and they're trying to, I don't know, make sure the coast is clear. I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll see. <laughs> We will see. This is, I mean, this is the point of the investigation, right? You gotta investigate <laughs> and find the truth. So, yeah, uh, let's go with uh, point number three an aberration. Interesting. Let's name it the old soul. I like that. Someone operating a workbench with a pedal, like a joiner at the harbor, or maybe a drummer. Mm. Ooh. Well, if he's a drummer, maybe he's in the music place uh, doing karaoke. Maybe. In the cafeteria. Uh, so one of the people you're looking for is a drummer? No, it's not. Forget I said it. We are not looking for a drummer. <laughs> no, that's a good lead. It's a good thing. I was going to say, I'm like, no, nah, I don't know. If I were a drummer, I don't know if I'd wear my work boots. <laughs> it seems like it's hard enough to be stomping on those pedals all the time. Maybe, Perhaps yeah, it maybe could it was be a driver. A driver would wear out the right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right. Let's nod thoughtfully, Kim, because that's good insight. That is good. Yeah. We should keep our eyes open around the traffic jam. See whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Seems prudent, no? Uh, yeah, that's, that's prudent. I agree. Yeah, I mean, I think to say, don't attract too much attention. Um, I mean, you're cops. You're gonna, you're gonna attract attention no matter what. <laughs> yeah, especially since one of us looks like a... Like, I kind of look like Alan Moore a little bit with this hat and the crowbar. <laughs> I believe you'll find you look like Dick Mullen. <laughs> that is true. My shoulders are drawn correctly, though. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, how old do you think these tracks are, Kim? What's your insight? Maybe. Seven days would fit the time frame provided to us by the caller, 
who reported the hanging. It is not impossible. How do you know? I pulled last week's forecast for coastal Havashol. Seven days below freezing. The day before, the day of his hanging, was the last one day. Correct again. Sub-zero temperatures would preserve the tracks in a good state. The commotion here could have taken place a week ago. All right. Yeah, what, do think, yeah, what do you think happened here? Yeah, let's do it all, put all the pieces together. Let's see. What do I think? Oh, mine pals. A mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying the victim. They shuffled around, especially under the tree. Then, after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. Indeed. They all stood in a row here and looked at the tree. Yes, everything fits so well. Carried him over, hoisted him up, watched him hang. This is easy. Thanks, Logic Lord. Yeah, thanks, Redditor. All right, I think we have a firm understanding of what happened here. The yeah, lieutenant's crying, yeah. eyes narrow. He's thinking to himself. Either way. What else? Yeah, that's everything. Uh, I don't have any other insight. We just we just made the thing. Clearly, there was an audience when they killed him. Yep. Uh, I don't know why this. Sometimes it seems to trigger when I didn't get anything. But game was trying to tell you something. Maybe. All right. So we've examined the footprints. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, we've examined the body already. We... Let's go talk to the kid who's throwing rocks at the body. Sorry, that's on my. It's getting on my nerves. I'm very disrespectful. Let's go. Let's go kick his ass. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I feel very strongly about Could this. Got this. The, we, let's beat the ass of this twelve-year-old oh. child. I oh believe in you. God. I this believe in you. Tyler. <laughs> it's if there vicious. ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness. <laughs> what, is, what is that post the kid is doing when he's talking to you? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Alright, let's keep oh, going. Yeah, Kuno. What? This is the other kid over here. No, I know, I just mean like, what is that word? Is that, is that like a, 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 a local language thing? Is that the, the fake language? Or is that like... I, these kid... I assume in, like, in game it's meant to be a regional dialect. I don't want to speculate too much. Because I might be wrong, but my hunch is that this is like, like some kind of like Baltic thing, maybe. Because I know yeah. that the developers are like from Estonia, I believe. So maybe that might be them sliding in some local colorful vernacular. Yeah, uh, that tracks from their from their uh, home country. But maybe not. That could just be making. I like. I am just speculating. I don't know. But oh, I will. Uh, I, I will. Uh, I'll give it a. I'll give it a quick look uh, in between yeah. recording sessions, and we'll see. Just yeah, like I did, Trump Le Mans. I do follow yeah. through, you know. Nobody can oh, say I don't strange. follow through. <laughs> oh, that's a really good, that's a really good point. Like, uh, uh, just putting some Estonian slang in there is really cool because it's uh, making it reminding you this was made by real people. Well, so, let's not uh, let's not give them too much credit before I know. <laughs> that is Maybe true. it's just I'm, nonsense. <laughs> I'm just a fan of uh, you know local things like that, just getting into things that are enjoyed internationally. Well, it does make things a little more real as well, you know. Yeah, but like to... anyway, let's talk to Kuno. Yeah, let's talk to him. Uh, a word. Police business. Right in the dick, Kuno! Get him right in the dick! You are being ignored. I hate this child. Love it in the dick! The boy is sweating profusely. His eyes are like two black holes and his jaw is twitching as if trying to break free from the empire of his body. Stop throwing rocks at my crime scene. Alright, fair enough. I, I, I mean... Often my jaw tries to break free from the empire of my body, but that's normally not for the same reasons. Dude, your body is, isn't an empire. It's a kingdom of heaven. Don't that's sell correct. yourself short. That's why Samson is tearing my jawbone free so he can murder people. <laughs> He's trying to get out. Fuck that! Kuno, yeah! Right in the mouth hole! Shits himself? The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! The fuck does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno is not a gardener. Wait, why is he talking about himself in the third person? He's just that kind of guy. Oh I also God. love how like he pretends to not know what a rake is, but clearly does because he knows it's a gardening implement. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's, you know, his frame of reference for it is Sideshow Bob stepping on like 30 of them in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this I have is... questions for you. <laughs> okay, uh, I, will, I will field your question in one moment. However, this is a good time. I think everyone in life has flaws and things about themselves that maybe they're not too proud of. In my case, I know a lot about the television show Simpsons. In spite of the fact, I have never watched an episode of The Simpsons from start to finish on purpose. Damn. Yeah. Uh, is that just a lot of it just being mimetic exposure? Like uh, yes. osmosis through? Correct. Correct. Damn. Yeah. So when you hear me make Simpsons references, I want you all to be suitably impressed. I'm always impressed when somebody makes a Simpsons reference. And anyway, at case, this point, it's incredible. at this point, yes, thank you. Thank you. I'm just getting the credit i richly deserve uh oh, yeah. anyway uh go ahead with your question <laughs> i was gonna say why didn't you watch uh, the simpsons on cbc or fox and alternate between them uh last um, a child for three years in a row like uh, me and most other people did uh i believe it is because my parents thought that it would be a bad influence on me <laughs> you know what i that's probably considering my life choices i think your parents were right i just watched pokemon instead so fair enough which is even more violent than The Simpsons, if you think I know, about right? It. This is children basically prize fighting. I don't, I don't understand. The Simpsons is about, you know, wholesome American family values, like strangling your son. Unless but, you're uh, Ralph Bakshi, which ask him uh, what he thinks happens on The Simpsons. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't care to speculate what he thinks. Uh, in an interview, he's like, "Oh, uh, you know, th they things I used, to, I used to get an X rating for. You know, they do with no problem on The Simpsons." And it's like, really. <laughs> People watch First the Cat and think, wow, that's just like The Simpsons? Maybe. Oh, weird. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's... I know that Kuno is very unpleasant, but we should talk to him anyway. Talk to this ugly child. Mm, this ugly child who uses slurs. Terrible. Yeah, uh, kudos for the game to actually like censor those out. That's, that's a nice touch. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, uh, they, you know, sometimes you need to show unpleasant things, but uh, no need to revel in it, you know. Yeah, we're not, yeah. Uh, we're not uh, Quentin Tarantino here. Oh yeah. Oh, we're have that one uh, friend who's a uh, what was that word they used before? The nappy kama, nappy <laughs> kami dogu. I don't know what they said. Yes, correct. <laughs> I'm going to scroll up. Nappa kimpi. Yeah, but can't be. Watch for that word to just be worse than the word when they are censoring. <laughs> Could be. I, maybe I'm gonna like live to regret having said it out loud. But I guess. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, let's go. Uh, I have questions for you. All right. Nice All right. Pertinent. Entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. The kid moves his hands like a basketball player dribbling fast. Since Irregular stuck patterns, overconfidence. Could this kid be on drugs? This warrants further investigation into this Kuno. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, I don't even know which one to go with first. Uh, Kuno, I found your shack. No, no, no. We did find his shack. We we did. Uh... You know, let's go. Who is Kuno? I think the I think once we solve who Kuno is, we know how Kuno will answer us. How right. best ask questions. Kuno's Kuno pig. It's always Kuno, never I. Clearly, the kid's using the third person perspective as a shield. Yeah, there's like a little Shinji inside him, and his body's an Eva unit. <laughs> Probably number two. Okay. I have to guess he's like an Os He seems like an Oscar vibe to me. The fuck are you calling a third person? Kuno's the fucking first person. What chance, Kuno? He's trying to fiddle you. He's gonna put his hands on you. Help! Pig's got Kuno. Help! Rape! Help! He's got the Kuno. Help! Everyone can hear him. You need to get the hell out of here before. Uh oh. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm starting to wonder if this would have happened regardless of which question we asked him. <laughs> Yeah, well, you never know. Uh, maybe we'll never know now. I'm just just answer the questions. Yeah. All right. Or no, you know, let's reassure him. I'm not. Uh, uh, too late. Ah, uh, no. Too late, Kuno. His dick is out. You're afraid. Pigs today, Kuno. Somebody, please. 
How did we get here? How did this happen? This makes no sense. There may still be a way out. Just appeal to his reason. Mm. Wow, we could just we could just punch him in the beak. Let's not At do that. Eight percent. Yeah, that uh, that's also it's red. So we're at a, we're at a crossroads here. Yep. Our logic is our logic is stymied. This man, this child, is not acting logically. How dare he? Yeah. <laughs> Why, why can't you be rational at all times? I know, like like, like, like children, politics. like we expect children to be rational exactly. at all times. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I, this child is ugly. Uh, <laughs> what is what is the six charade? Let's find I out what like this six. Best. Let's find out what the six charade is. No. Nah. <laughs> Get up, Kuno, you sick fuck. The nearly psychopathic way they can slip in and out of the act implies you're not the first victim. Thanks, drama. Thank you. I, I had no idea this kid was being dramatic up until now. Especially, like, since he's yelling the third person to it, it almost sounds like he's giving Kuno direction. <laughs> like, there's three people here. Mm, that's true. The, the, the third person is the other, who we know it observes our behavior. Oh, uh. <laughs> Uh, let's go with the... Who put you up to this? No one. Kuna's doing this because he likes it, pig. Ah, we got him in a logical fallacy. ...establishes dominance over you. Change your plan. You can't let that happen. It will make things harder down the line. You may end up missing crucial information. Help! The pig's gagging him! Kuno can't speak! What? I I haven't done anything to you yet. All right. This is conversation. Fucking logical. Help! The logical pig is fiddling Kuno. I actually, that's actually a really good line. I like the that. logical pig. <laughs> that's that's just if what is a man? Plato was wrong. A, a, a man is a logical pig. Yeah, we're getting into like an animal farm uh, territory. Like, what is a man? It's a pig. It's on two legs and four legs. Two legs, good, if you ask me. I never actually read Animal Farm. Well, it's good that we're both referencing it in that case. Yeah, I did read the action uh, novel knockoff Animal Harm, which is just, mm. just probably probably farm. better, I would say. Well, yeah, like I never actually sat down and read the Bible. I had to read the Action Bible, which was a comic book. Would you believe me if I told you I've read the entire Bible? I I would believe you. Yeah, you would be right. I'm a huge nerd. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone put you up to this. Yeah, let's just, let's just go this right does now. seem like to be like the only way out. So let's let's go for it. Yeah. You put him up to this yourself when you decided to talk to him in the first place. Kim, Kim, that's not helpful. Okay, man. Kim, under no circumstances do you ever gotta hand it to him. Kim, you gotta back me up when I'm arguing with the like bigoted kid. Okay, if, you, if I can't count on you in this. <laughs> Kim, right. why? Why do this? <laughs> Listen to your friend. <sighs> Thank you for the spitting sound effect. That was appreciated. Perfect. I mean, it matches exactly what his character animation is doing. True. It did go... Mm. Wait, why would I ask Kim if he did this? Uh, maybe Kim did it. Who knows? It's possible. Kim, did you, Kim, did you tell this kid to be a, an asshole? <laughs> maybe. Did guards put you up to this? Guards being a, he was a little weird earlier. Let's see. Kuno owns the fat ass. Help! The RCM is trying to fuck Kuno! Are you high right now? Like, that's the last one I think we can do. Yeah, it, before, I think uh, that's correct. Yeah. Help! Misters, help! He's flashing Kuno! He's showing his genitals! If you don't help Kuno now, it'll be too late! Alright. I'm terrified of failing this physical challenge. 8%. It seems likely that we will. Yeah, I would, I'd rather not to uh, punch this child because then you're just going to embolden him in his weird actions. All right. We'll back but, off. No, it's just, yeah. For emphasis, a ghost is saying this. A shit-eating psychopathic ghost with an ace up his sleeve. I know you wanted to hit me. You got that 
I'm gonna fuck that Kuno up look that Kuno's dad gets. The murder look. The rage look. Relax. He can't read your mind. He doesn't know you were thinking that. There's a dead body, remember? That's what you were doing here. You're a cop on a case. Composure, coming in clutch. Thank you. Thank you, our... Uh, it's also... Hitchcock. Sorry, yeah, Alfred Hitchcock guy. Clearly is, you're right. I, I, can, <laughs> I see it now. Also, I love logic because he's so, like, logical. As if, like, someone can't tell what emotion you're experiencing just by looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to access someone else's interiority to know how they're feeling logic. <laughs> Come on. Some days, some days I wish he could. It you make just, arguments go easy. You can just look at someone's face. Anyway. Oh god, there's those uh, fake uh, scientists who uh, that think that's like, they're trying to do that real thing where they review like debates and stuff and it's like clearly they're upset or it's like no, you're just you're guessing cuz you saw like a cartoon. <laughs> uh let's go. Uh, let's go. You know what? You know what? Let's oh, freak sorry. him out. You were thinking. Let's... Got it. Yeah. How do you know that? Can you read my mind, Kuno? Let's find out. I uh... can. Kuno can smell that violent shit. I know what you were thinking. I'm gonna fuck that Kuno up. I'm gonna shut his shit down. You know what? You should have hit the Kuno. Because now, you're nothing. You're a joke to Kuno. Kuno laughs at you. King Kuno! Kuno turned you into his prison, bitch! You're gonna be in this shit with Kuno! No, you're not. We can just leave. Bitch, you're gonna be in this shit with Kuno forever! A peepo is a type of hat, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, it's like <laughs> Thank you for that. The peepo what? Oh, I like, wait, the encyclopedia told us what a peepo was based on what, uh... Our own know... thought about, our, our own thought about her, is that she's a peepo-headed critter. And yeah. then <laughs> our encyclopedia's like, by the way, you know what that is. <laughs> Why would we have that thought then if we don't know what it is? Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, actually, that's a little world building now that I think about it. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, whatever, I had some questions about the crap. No, you know what, nice pippo. All right. Nice Pippo. Let's appeal to emotion. See where that takes us. Okay. You don't talk to me about my fucking people. You don't know where I come from. You just Kuno's bottom bitch. Alrighty. Whatever. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck kind of reaction is that? Nice hat. Fuck you. Nice you don't hat. Know who I am. <laughs> you don't know what I've been through. <laughs> I mean, Killed that's true. We don't. Right? But uh, still, nevertheless. <laughs> yeah, I had some questions about that crime scene. Come on, we're the law. We are the law. Okay. Yeah. Kuno is kind to his bitch. Ask your questions. But remember, this changes shit. Click, 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 click. Okay. <laughs> okay. We got an empathy check that we can try. Very low. 3%. Ooh. Uh, I, I want to do that, actually, but not right away. Uh, okay. Yeah, we know like what what about what do you know about the body? Okay. What do you know about it? Shitload pig. What's your question? Don't what? tell the pig shit, Kuno. This is where you quickly ask him questions. Real cop questions. Like a cop. Okay. That's that's good. Although that's weird. We just asked him a question, then he's like, What's your question? Again, Ludo narrative dissidents, but like, damn. Well, I mean, he's, he, I mean, we kind of asked him, what do you know about the body? It's one of those cop questions that's like, tell me everything you know. But cl yeah. he's clearly not falling for it. He's like, uh, you know, ask me what you want to know and I'll tell you. There has to be like an alternate ending where it turns out he's the killer. Mm, I mean, we'll find out maybe yeah. who the killer was. <laughs> uh, do you know? And we know how it got up there. We suspect, yeah. Yeah. Have you seen anyone suspicious around? Okay. Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. That seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno. Now that, that one, is... I'm much more confident as a slur of some kind. <laughs> That's too close to the one they censored out. Why would you include that? Well, you never know. It's a different language, presumably. So you never know. 
you, there there can be all kinds of ridiculous things in other languages that are that sound bad but aren't tough to that say. That is a that is a really good point. Anyway, uh, do you know who he was? Kuno's book imp. Kuno uses the book imp for target practice. He's trying to hide the fact that he doesn't know. <laughs> they don't know anything. <laughs> Kuno knows all kinds of shit. Kuno's not a snitch. That's all. Trying to make the Kuno sing into the popo phone. <laughs> popo phone. <laughs> that is a good uh, <laughs> euphemism for talking to the police. That is a rap lyric, I swear. I'm sure if you looked long enough and hard enough, you would be able to find one. I'm sure like Grimes music from the UK probably has the phrase popo phone somewhere. <laughs> Used at least once right next to like that area code they keep repeating. <laughs> Yeah. I'll Do take you know your how... word for it. <laughs> Do you know how it got up there? Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. So you didn't see it happening? You ate Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. <laughs> He's not regional. Uh, it sounds pretty regional to me. That's fair. Some of these lines are just killing me. Like, I love, I want to use that phrase now. Like, I'm not regional. I mean, yeah, man. Uh, okay, where'd you go then? I don't know. Some fucking mess or, or, I don't know, some other place. Night City. Kuno is in fucking Night City. There is no Night City anywhere. That sounds like the name of a city in some pulp science fiction novel. That's fake as <laughs> <laughs> or a video game, am I right? Gamers? Oh, yeah. Grand Theft Auto Night City was my favorite entry into the, the, the franchise. That's correct. That That is what I was referencing, and no mm. other thing. Uh, yeah, that's a fictional city. That doesn't exist, dude. Correct. Logic Lord chiming in via encyclopedia. Yeah. Why you gotta be riding Kuno's ass? You haven't been where Kuno's been? You haven't been in Kuno's head? You want to know where Kuno was? You want to know what Kuno's been fucking up to? I don't tell him that, Kuno. It's lame. It's not fucking lame. Kuno's building Kuno City. Night City. Rage City. The City of Rage. That's it. And it's not lame. Lame. That's the name of Kuno City, bitch. Get the fuck off Kuno's back. This shit ain't about that. It's impossible to deduce what it is about, at least for the moment. If it's important, it'll come up later. Focus on the case. All right. Seems like Kuno is uh, launching a casino or some such thing. I bet Kuno. I bet uh, Night City is his band, and he's a drummer because that's why we found one footprint with one oh. more smoother than the other. So he's maybe he's an accomplice. Coming back to the drummer hypothesis, I like it. Yeah, I'm going with the bigger drummer theory. All right. We'll we'll more talk about later. something else. Yeah. Yeah. You're testing Kuno's patience here. Get lost. Okay. Yeah, hey, do you kids play in the yard? Like, that's kind of fucked up. You're throwing stones at a body. Yeah, I would agree. Right, hate this, kid. this is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo choo. What do you want with it? Why would you admit that? I don't know. He's a kid. He, he doesn't know that you don't talk to cops, I guess. That is true. This is, this guy's very precocious for what I think is a... I believe 12-year-old was what they were implying. He's 12, but like his portrait makes him look like he's seen some things. But I guess that's why he keeps <laughs> saying that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, he's said it enough times. I guess we should believe him. Yeah. Like I knew a guy at 12 when he was like, oh, uh, I live on a rough street. I watched a guy get his head crushed by a cinder block. I'm like, cool. So you just watched the Pain Olympics and thought that was real. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I did think it was real when I was a kid. <laughs> uh, we all did. <laughs> anyway, let's not dwell on that, please. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> I'm going to get PTSD if I relive that too many times. Uh -huh. uh, the ladder. Do you have your climb it? You ever climb your multicolored ladder? Fucking shit. You're trying to get Kuno killed. <laughs> <laughs> Unclimbable, huh? Fuck does Kuno know? Kuno's not a fucking acrobat. The lieutenant takes a quick note in his notebook. It's a trap, Kuno! Don't climb it, Kuno! I wasn't egging him to climb it! <laughs> I mean, 
He seems to think so. Oh, that's, uh, he's got a lot going on. I want to see the house over there. Don't know. Kip Dash Gardener used to work there. Kip is a pejorative term used to describe people of South Seminese or Eri Oppergite descent. It used to be a common first name among the Eri Oppergites of Ilmara. Not so much anymore. Hmm. Thank you for <laughs> saying that this is a racial slur. <laughs> uh, now I, I, now I, I won't be tempted to say it like I did the other one. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna take like a second glance whenever I try to use the word kipper to describe a fish. Well, luckily, uh, uh, being Seminese or Areopagite is not a real thing, so we're we're in the clear there. But, That's true. Uh, nevertheless, we are learning so much uh, invented like racism today. I did not anticipate this. But That's the most are. important thing to learn. Yeah, anyway. If it if it sounds bad, it probably is. That's a that's a genuinely good point. Oh, thank you. Well, the gardener used to work there, so you knew the gardener. Yeah, that's what Kuno said. She couldn't handle the heat, so she took off. Kuno can take it. <laughs> Shit, nothing to Kuno. Hell yeah. All right, he's endearing me a little bit, even though I hate him. I love getting high off cadaverine. Well, yeah, this is like a... Oh, what's that one where you, where you, like, you poop in a balloon and you keep it like partially underground? It ferments. It's a bad... I'm not going to dignify that with a response. I am, I am sorry. That was the first... Well, seriously, <laughs> Cadaver Central was the first thing that came to mind was the, the exiting of the bowels. Uh, you mean the young woman at the whirling in rags. The, she doesn't huff this. She's better than that. Look, Kuro doesn't explain shit. Kuro just says shit. Yeah, her. What was she doing in the greenhouse in March, anyway? What kind of gardening is done in March? Fish is sometimes used to fertilize the soil a few weeks before planting something. Maybe she was preparing the garden beds. Mm, interesting, interesting. As someone who's done gardening work in March, uh, you gotta go in there and make sure like the mice weren't hibernating and then you gotta clean out that mouse shit. Alright, well we can... Uh ask her about it, or we can just, uh, not bother? No, like let's accept the it's... task. Alright. Get task yes, up. it seems suspicious. You don't like things being like that. Suspicious. Mm, okay, Logic Lord has chimed in. Thank you, Mr. Logic. Uh, let's ask some more questions. Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. Kuno, I found your shack. Your weird, your weird ass, like a uh, pig head shack. Yeah. You found Kuno's secret door to Kuno's secret shack. It was closed for five thousand years. How the fuck did you get in? Hmm. I want to fuck think? with him. All right. So we phase shifted I, through the roofing material. Phase shifted. We're magic. Mm, it's possible. Shit! Get the fuck out of here! You can't do that. He can't do that, Kuno. He's trying to fuck at you again. Pigs can't displace. Can't do that teleport shit. How did you like it in there, pig old boy? Kuno's got a lot of cool shit there, right? <laughs> wow, I, wow, we we can finally learn what the pig head is. I was going to say, as soon as you noticed the pig head, I was like, oh, man, I hope that he goes, he talks to Kuno about the pig head later. Because he can. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is with the pig head, you freak? Let's find out. Oh, that? Kuno decapitates pigs. That's just a Kuno demo tape. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't like that implication. That's a great <laughs> phrase, though. <laughs> Did you, you spill think? that drink? Yeah, that's a demo tape. Oh my god. <laughs> like that's, that's a threatening aura. I like it. Uh, yeah, were you trying to send me a message no he would that would have been there before no because if we put the code up there he would have seen me so he's been making that for me maybe maybe let's ask him we're trying to send a message of some sort uh, yeah to the both of you watch your ass in kuno's town or kuno's gonna fuck your head off i think he just made that up on the spot yeah i can see that <laughs> he's he this is stolen valor if there ever was any <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I I only do, you know, I only respect, you know, people who cut off pigs' heads, you know, the honest way, like my grandfather did. 
Yeah, and you could feed a whole family of ten with a mm -hmm. single pig's head for a week because of the war. The war, yes, of course. Yeah. What's with the tube of Magnusolum? It's a vitamin pig. Don't you know anything? You could use them. <laughs> you're Shut in up. Hey, by the way, you're a little whiny baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you... <laughs> Well, maybe if we took some, we could have made that jump earlier. Maybe. It's magnesium, right? Yeah, it's the mag. You fucking need that shit to stay on top of your game. Kuno goes through like a tube a day, rips mag like a motherfucker, and you could use a bottle. Oh, don't teach him, Kuno. He's going to use it against you, Kuno. It's like, yeah, this kid gives me the feeling like he just eats Rub A535. <laughs> he does look like he eats... Rub A535. <laughs> it's just magnesium. It is just magnesium. You're not yeah. getting this pig. It completely takes away the hangover. It's like you didn't do anything. Like you stayed home playing with your choo-choo. Fuck you, pig. Don't do mag. You're going to OD and you're going to fucking die. <laughs> oh, overdosing on magnesium. How undignified. Now he's gonna catch on fire if he scrapes against the floor or whatever, because it's flammable. All right. High school science class is your friend. It is your friend. Yeah, what's the powder residue? Uh, I wonder. That's where Kuno gets his daily hit of electric. Kuno Shazam. Kuno rides the fucking lightning in there, pig. Bet you'd like to ride the lightning too, wouldn't you? You feel tired and old. But you could have that sparkle in your eyes. Yeah, why not do meth? You could do meth, but will that solve you the back problems you get in your mid to late 30s? That's it will question. not, but you could do more meth. That is true. Like, what's the point of meth if it's not going to give you the body of a 19-year-old? I don't want to just... answer that question. It will probably more likely give you the body of, like, a 99-year-old. <laughs> well, over, over time. If you're lucky. <laughs> Otherwise, it just you become like a cloud, like a sentient cloud. Mm, that does sound good right about now. Yeah. Some yeah, it's in my coat up there. Why do you have my coat? Did you see me? Is it? You got pretty fucked. Kuno, surprised you've still got your head after all that. Hmm. After all, you know what? No, let's not give him an inch. Thanks, kid. We're learning how to deal with Kuno. Uh, I appreciate it. Whatever, piggy. <laughs> Can I get to the harbor from the roof? Of course you fucking can. How do you think Kuno made all the docky boys his gimps? Just gotta fly, pig. Yeah, so it's kind of saying, yeah, if you'd managed to jump down there, you can get into the harbor, but we couldn't. Kuno uh -huh. knows. Kuno and C saw you shit yourself. It's okay, pig. Not everyone can face the fear Kuno style. I don't like the idea that I should do that to powdered residue just to be able to make the jump. Well, yeah, it's, sometimes you just gotta do drugs and cool stunts. That's just how that, it is. That is true. Doing drugs makes you cool. You heard it here first. Yeah, and that's why I only encourage smoking for the aesthetic, not for the incredible, incredible after effects. Correct. All right, have we heard enough? I've heard enough of this. Good call, Pigmeister. Don't come and talk to Kuno about his kingdom. All right, so we've talked all of these. Uh, we can we? we can go back into them if we want to. Yeah, because they say like again more questions. Our shack oh. again. Well, I just mean like I gotta ask who's Kuno is. Uh, you know, it's kind of dolled out, but the other two aren't. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. I think it's kind of to imply that we can go back into these and ask new or different questions, whereas this one, we kind of can't. That one didn't actually go too well. <laughs> that is fair, yeah. I think there was a check in there that we failed that uh, can't repeat, so that's fine. Why would right. we tell Kuno that we threw up and can't investigate the body? Like, what, how do we think Kuno would react? Let's find out. Yeah, like a fucking volcano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking pathetic. Good, I just want to commend this voice actor for really going for it on the peeping yeah. noises. That's that's more than I would have done. They didn't ask him to do that, and yet he delivered. You were lucky you didn't die there! Mm. Now, how are you handling it? Let's find out. Yeah. Kuno's got some advice for you. What are you? Like, 80, right? Maybe you should stop embarrassing yourself in front of a fucking kid. Mm. 
Perhaps you could compress this negative energy and turn it into some sort of a Kunified non-vomiter. <laughs> non-vomiter. You could compress this negative energy and turn it into a Kunified non-vomiter. Yeah. Isn't that uh, so easy? Yeah, Kunified non-vomiter, here I come. Like Kuno's gonna hear that and know exactly what I mean. Alright. That's right. Turn your weaknesses into conceptual strengths. Try it again now. All right. Yeah, because we can retry it. Let's try this empathy. I we're probably not going to get it, but I am. Yeah, you can always roll box scarves. All right, That's let's true. go. All right. He's on your crime scene, bossing you around, and he's been here for some time too. This is where he hangs out. You have to get more out of him. He could be useful. All right, we have failed to figure out what the fuck is going on with this kid. Damn, like, they, a chair did not appear for us to go, let's have a wrap, kid. Yeah, exactly. We didn't sit backwards down on the chair. It's gonna be rough. Anyway, yeah. what do you think? I feel like I'm gonna appeal to him in terms of wanting to know what Night City is, but at the same time, I just want to be world-weary. So I'm gonna go with Night City. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. No! You told him about it, and now he knows your name! The city's not fucking lame. You are lame. Kuno's tired of defending Rage City from... Just fuck off, all right? And fuck you too, putting Kuno on the spot like that. Kuno doesn't need to fucking explain his shit. Kuno's king. He rules here. Fuck did you want? Explain himself? As if explaining some kind of work? Some kind of avant-garde work way ahead of its time. Ooh, conceptualization oh, senses art. It's like, are you writing poetry, Kuno? Let's find out. Are we intrigued? I am intrigued. Tell me more about Night City. I, I'm genuinely a little curious. You yeah. must get to the bottom of this one of these days. Sadly, it's unlikely to happen today. Uh, not today, I guess. We gotta, uh, darn. we gotta put some points into empathy, maybe. Yeah, we'll never find out if, like, his, we'll never see, like, his loose-leaf paper with, like, his platform game levels that he drew on it. Hmm. All right. Anything else? You want to go back through any of these? Uh, no, I think we're good for now. All right. Kuno You're doesn't off. fucking care. Kuno doesn't fucking care. Thank you, Kuno. Ah, and we have a thought. This kid's fucked. Hear that? Magnesium. That's what you're lacking. The lack of magnesium has you slouched. Hmm. So there's a lack of magnesium in me. Yes, and it's critical. Look at yourself. You're practically devolving into a fish due to the lack of magnesium in your bloodstream. What the fuck do these choices mean? Do we need to mag it up or mag it sideways? How do you mag it sideways? I mean, only one way to find out, right? I need, yeah, so I need to mag it sideways? Mag it sideways? What are you talking about? You need to mag it up. You've probably had two heart attacks and a minor stroke already. And the only prescription is insane amounts of magnesium. Oh, interesting. Wasn't the magnesium-based life form thing from evolution? Isn't that, isn't that the alien they killed, uh, David Duchovny killed with just head and shoulders? <laughs> I, would, I, I wouldn't care to speculate. It's a good movie. You say so. <laughs> <laughs> I need to become a magnesium-based life form? Yes. If you want to live, you need to evolve. You need to transcend the carbon barrier. Go to the apothecary and buy insane amounts of magnesium. It will reverse the damage to your circulatory system. All right. Well, our composure uh, seems to think we should buy shit tons of magnesium, and perhaps we will. But if we do, it will have to happen next time. So, if you have been, thanks for watching. And if you haven't, please start. All right. Bye.